Hi guys, Anne McKinnell here. Thanks for joining me. Today I would like to share with you a technique for creating a soft, dreamy look in your photos. Um, known as the Orton Effect, this is a great way to add some depth and a real polished look to your image. I'll show you three different ways of doing it. The first is in Photoshop. It's the traditional way of creating the Orton Effect. Um, then I will also show you a way that you can do it if you're only using Lightroom or Camera Raw. And then finally, I'll show you a third way, a really quick way of doing it in Luminar. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so here we are in Lightroom and I have this image of a waterfall that I made in Iceland. Um, this technique looks great on waterfalls. So I'm just gonna hop over to Photoshop and show you the traditional method first. And it is my preferred method. So here's the background layer. And what I'm first going to do is make a copy of this layer. I always like to make a copy so that I'm um, not doing anything destructive. If I can change my mind, I can. So I'm just going to drag this down onto the new layer icon. And on my new layer, what I'm going to do is go Filter, Blur, and I'm going to pick Gaussian Blur. So I'm going to blur this quite a bit. Uh, I usually pick, say, around, well, I think that looks good around 50, 55, something like that, and I'll just click OK. And now what you do is you use a blend mode. So the blend modes are found just above the layers, and right now it says normal. So I'm going to click on that, and I usually pick either overlay or soft light. So I'll just look at that. So I really like how overlay looks, so I'm going to pick overlay. Now, it's a little bit too much though, right? So I'm going to go down to the um, opacity slider and I'm just going to reduce the opacity of this whole layer. So I'll take this and reduce this down until I like the look at it. Uh, I think 50% here looks pretty good. So I'll just turn this layer off so you can see the original. And there's the new version with the Orton effect. Now, one thing though is that it's darkened these shadows quite a bit, and um, I like how it looks on the water, and I like how it looks in the sky, but not so much in these shadow areas where it's removed some of the detail. So what I'm going to do now is use a layer mask and remove the effect on some of these shadows. So I've clicked on the layer, and I'm going to add a layer mask. I'm using my brush, and I've got my brush set to 40%. That's probably pretty good. And now I'm just going to paint on here with a black brush. And what that will do is reveal the layer below. So I'll take out some of these areas that I think are too dark. Like that, maybe a little bit over here too. Okay, so I can right click on my layer mask and disable it. See what it looked like before I put the layer mask on and then enable the layer mask. Okay, so that is how you go about doing it in Photoshop. Now, let's go back over to Lightroom and I'll show you uh, a way that you can do it over there if you are only using Lightroom. So here we are in Lightroom. And what you can do is just use the clarity slider and, um, you know, perhaps some warmth and exposure to kind of mimic the same sort of effect. So I can take this clarity and I'm just going to reduce this a little bit, make everything soft and maybe increase the exposure a little bit and then increase the warmth a little bit. Okay, so I like how that looks, but when I make the changes right here, I've applied it to the entire image and I don't really think that's what I want to do. Um, I'd like to apply it mainly to the water. So I'm going to reset this. And one way you can do that is by using the adjustment brush. So I'm going to click the adjustment brush, make the same sort of changes here in my brush settings. I'll reduce the clarity, increase the exposure a little bit, increase the temperature a little bit. Not too much. And I have my flow and my density turned up fairly good here. So now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and paint this effect on where I want it. So I'm just going to paint it on to this water, you know, a little bit down here. I like how it looked in the sky too. 
Now if you're not sure where exactly you've painted, you can click this checkbox down here to show the mask overlay so you can see exactly if you've missed anything. You know, maybe a little bit over here. Okay, and then I'm going to take that checkbox off. And now if I want to see what that effect looks like, I can use this on off switch over here and turn it off and back on again. And if I want to adjust it, I can just go ahead here and, you know, because it's already selected, if you're not sure, you can go click on that little dot. And now I can, uh, you know, in decrease the saturation even more if I want. I think it does look better if I decrease it a little bit more. Okay, so that's one way you can go about doing it in Lightroom. It's not ideal, but if you're only working with a Lightroom or Camera Raw, it is one way to go about doing that. Okay, let's flip back over to Photoshop. And here is the one that I made in Photoshop. I'm just going to turn that layer off. And I'll go ahead and make another duplicate of this background layer. And before I get confused, I'm going to rename these layers. So I'm going to call this one PS, so I remember that I did it in Photoshop. And I'm going to call this one Luminar. And now I'm going to show you how you can do this in Luminar. So I will go Filter, and Skylum Software, and Luminar. I'm actually running an older version of Luminar right now, but it uh, works exactly the same way in the new version. All right, so here we are in Luminar, and I'm just going to go Add Filters. And in Luminar, you will find a filter called Orton Effect. How handy. So I'll click on that, and all I have to do is click the Amount slider. And you can see it gives you a very similar effect to what I got in Photoshop. Now there are some other sliders here that make it uh, helpful. You can adjust the softness. Uh, one thing I like is the brightness. I can increase the brightness a little bit. And also the contrast. Now it is fairly bright in the sky and we have that same problem with the shadows being quite dark so I'm going to decrease the contrast in this case. Like that. I think that looks pretty good. Now I can click this eyeball icon right here on the filter and turn this filter off so you can see the original and back on again. So that's all I'm going to do here, and I'm going to click Apply. And it will apply my changes and take me back over to Photoshop. Okay, so there's the version that I made in Luminar. I will turn this one off. And there's the version that I made in Photoshop. And finally, there's the version that I made in Lightroom. So I do prefer the Photoshop uh, result above all of the other ones, but you have some options. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tip. See you next time. Bye for now.